Hello. Could I uh, get a glass of lemonade, please? Oh, it's in a real glass. I thought it might be in a cup or something I could take with me. That's cool. Uh, <coughs> Wait. You have a big nose. I know. Would you hurry up in there? Have a day tonight. It's all yours, big bro. Are you okay? I'm just, just a little nervous. You don't have to be nervous. Oh, God, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, uh, do you want a tissue or something? Uh, no, or? You, you don't understand. No, I, I uh, have one right here. Uh, Have you checked out the size of the corn in the garden? It's growing quite well. Is it? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Have you got all the weeds around it and everything? I got most of it. Yeah. Did you start the watering yet? Um, yeah, I did it a couple times. How I hate my nose! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Bad. Hmm. And how does that make you feel? How does the fact I feel bad make me feel? You mind if I eat? I guess. Great. Because I've been really hungry. I've been waiting for this burger for three hours. Great. Mm. Okay. So I have a chart here. Made myself four options. I'm pretty sure we'll have one for you on this one. Option one, 
do nothing. You and I both know that's probably not the best option for you. So. You like comic books? I never really got it. Okay. As with your nose. I see a superhero thing going. Leads me the option too. Good guy. People like good guys. They're root for them. Get to wear spandex. Everybody loves them. Now. Option three. Bad guy. People don't like bad guys. But it doesn't matter. Because you're a bad guy. And ladies love bad boys. Or I could just kill myself. Well, I think you might be psychic. Option four. Although I wouldn't suggest this final option because it's just a lot of boring paperwork for me and all these lawyers coming after me just like, hey, do all this stuff to the guy when he showed up. And, oh, it's, it's not really my fault that it happened. When, in the end, the guy was going to do it. He showed up and I tried, but sometimes I just can't really save everybody. I'm not a superhero. I mean, you would be one, but that's only can happen too. And after three is a bad guy, so I can't really help you with that either. Well, your time's up, so you can get out of here. This is an emergency. This is a writing emergency. We're having some serious problems with Noseboy. He is a protagonist. He's our main protagonist, and he's feeling down in the dumps. So, I didn't think it would get this bad. He's actually contemplating suicide. Now, gentlemen, we wrote a comedy. A comedy. And he's contemplating suicide. There is nothing funny about suicide. It is funny in a black humor sort of way. You wouldn't see a mainstream film doing something like that. What mainstream comedy kills off one of the good guys in the end? The Big Lebowski? That's out of the question. We're not we're not killing Noseboy. What we need to do is lift Noseboy up out of depression and carry the story along to a satisfying conclusion. That's what we need to do. So, are there any ideas for getting Noseboy out of this funk? Sir, there's only one way for the protagonist to succeed. And what's that, Jack? You must seek out and destroy his enemy. Yes, but the enemy isn't that simple, Jack. It's more of an internal thing with Noseboy. It's the demons in his head. Sir, I don't mean to disobey your orders, but the enemy must be simple for the audience to understand. I'll keep that in mind, Jack, but for now it's going to stay introspective with Noseboy. I have an idea. Oh, what's that, Stanley? Let's take Noseboy out into the woods. We can use it as a metaphor for escaping humanity or retreating to nature or something. That's a good idea, Stanley. That's a great idea. I'm going to write that in. That will do Noseboy good. Want to go for a walk? I don't know. I'll pack a lunch. No 
OK。He still seems sad. Sir, if the protagonist goes AWOL, what kind of message is that sending to the folks back home? The folks? The audience, sir. If you want my honest opinion, what we need here is an enemy. No, what we need here is a challenge for those boy. Something to lift his spirits, something that he can only overcome with the power of smell. I got it. I'm hungry. Yeah? No, I mean, I am really hungry. I'm so hungry, I'm starting to feel dizzy. Well, you could just... Oh, God, what if we starve out here? I have an idea. We can use your super smell to find some berries or other edible things. Or you could eat the lunch you packed. I have the worst goddamn memory. I told you, sir. Without a clear and undeniably evil enemy, the story's lost. The world descends into meaninglessness. Jack, it's not that black and white. When I was in the war... This isn't the war, Jack! I've got something. I can't go much further. Well, you have been walking for hours. Yeah, but... I don't know the way back. Maybe you could use your nose you to... You can see the house from here. I guess you can. Want to go home? Yes. Why would you put them on a hill? It represents Noseboy's uphill struggle against his personal demons. It's personal. You can't put metaphoric language before story? That's insane. What did they teach you in film school? Well, why can't you just write into the script that Noseboy feels better and won't commit suicide? It doesn't work like that, Stanley. Why not? Because, Stanley, Noseboy lives in here. If Noseboy kills himself... Sir, may I?
done, sir. What's done? The story is done, sir. Jack. What did you write? Look at you. Uh, you look great. All right, let's check, make sure my hand isn't in there. I don't think it was.